Tracking new numbers tonight, SETRAC is reporting that Jefferson County ICU beds are near full capacity. In total, 107 COVID patients are hospitalized. And if you look at this graph, we are trending towards the numbers we saw during that summer surge. We're ending the week with our regional hospitalization rate at 13.3%, down a little more than 1% from yesterday. All the doctors who I know, including myself, uh, we are ready to take that vaccine once it's available. And uh, so we all are very excited about this vaccine. Southeast Texas doctors preparing for the first wave of COVID vaccines to hit the region in less than two weeks. Texas will receive more than 1.4 million doses this month, and we're learning more about how one Southeast Texas hospital is preparing for distribution. 12 News reporter Amelia White has those details. Every part of Texas is making preps now for the coronavirus vaccine. There's a lot of work happening behind the scenes to be ready for the much anticipated drug to arrive in Southeast Texas. Uh, we, of course, are excited about uh, getting vaccine. A glimmer of hope. We have been informed we'll get on the week of the 14th. Because help is on the way. Uh, about 900 doses of vaccine. But who gets the vaccine? And the instructions from the state are that the healthcare worker are the first who's going to get this vaccine. Healthcare workers on the front lines like Dr. Kamar Arfin will be the first to get the vaccine once it's approved by the FDA. Including the nurses, the physician, respiratory therapists, the housekeeping, the lab personnel who are... December 14th is a date that hospital and county leaders are anticipating the vaccine arriving if things remain on track. The state has been working to outline who gets the vaccine and how the vaccine will be administered. So Baptist Hospital have set up an uh, outpatient uh, facility where they're going to give vaccine to the healthcare workers uh, based on the guidelines which are being given to us by the state. In those guidelines, the vaccine requires two doses given roughly a month apart. They have outlined where we, they have uh, set up all the place to store the vaccine. All vaccines will be tucked away in an ultra refrigerator set at negative 70 degrees Celsius. Dr. Arfin hopes this vaccine will help control the surge Baptist in St. Elizabeth is seeing right now. All the doctors who I know, including myself, uh, we are ready to take that vaccine once it's available. And uh, so we all are very excited about this vaccine. As for the general public, Dr. Arfin expects you to have access to the vaccine by April or sooner. In Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.